Hello again, StarCraft fans. Horst here again. I have a, another replay. I'm working on a new strategy, actually. I quite like it. It's weird, but it's for PvT. Uh, I'm doing this on the new Slag Pits map. It's 15 Nexus against Terran. Quite risky, but it seems to be quite powerful as well. If you can pull it off, you look like a god. So I'll just show you guys, and you be the judge of how viable it is. Throw down a pile on a 19 like normal, and with this uh, strategy, because it's not against the Zerg, you don't have to put your pile on the low ground. I can scout to see if he's close positions. If he's close positions, obviously I would not do this. But because he is not close positions, it's a lot more viable looking. So we can go for a chrono boosting out to 15 probes. And there we go. So I will go make a 15 Nexus now. Now obviously this is weak against Terran early pressure. If we look from the Terran's perspective, he at this point might be a little confused. I'm thinking in the future it might be a good idea to hide this pylon here. That way he might think I'm proxying him. If I hide the pylon like, I don't know, somewhere outside my main, he might think I'm proxying so he might uh, spend more time making a bunker or two when he really doesn't have to. Because I'm just doing a 15 Nexus build. But after the 15 Nexus, I throw down two gateways as soon as I freaking can. Because I'm going to need a lot of Zealots real quick in case he doesn't early push with Marines and other such Terran infantry. Once I have the two gates up, I will throw down a gas. Because I need to get uh, Stalkers really quick as well. And another pylon as soon as I possibly can after the gas. So now the Terran is getting a fast reaper which is really good against this strategy he will fly it with the reaper and do some serious damage I'm not gonna have a zealot in time to stop this I'll have to use probes which is less than ideal at fighting off a reaper I might lose four or five probes but I do have my expansion up I'm chrono boosting out zealots now and I'll start to chrono boost out stalker as soon as this core is up We're off two gates now if you notice the timing I'm delayed about a minute over what I normally would be. So it is a delay significantly. You want to micro these probes as best you can, pull the damage once off if you can. And once you get a zealot out, he can chase the reaper around so the uh, probes won't have to do all the work. And corner boost a stalker out as soon as you possibly can. And then just go back to mining. And of course, you want warp gates as soon as possible as well. I am a little busy microing these probes though, so I have not really been uh, focusing as well as I should on upgrading and all the other good stuff that I should be doing. And this Reaper does get 5 kills, including the Zealot, which means 4 probes died to that Reaper. Not great. But we will keep making probes. We will keep making uh, Stalkers, keep making Zealots. And I will have to get uh, Warp Gates. This is a mistake. Should be done now. Warp Gates, come on. Come on, Warp Gates. Clicking it doesn't help, apparently. That's not really good. I should be doing that. Oh well. And there it goes, finally. Very late. But this is a strategy I'm just starting to play with in PvT. I haven't really had much experience with it. So it's still got a lot of uh, flaws and kinks and problems. But I'm going to have to uh, make some more guys. At this point, I'm going to poke the Terran uh, after I get maybe these two more Zealots out. The point of poking the Terran is to see if he's expanded or not. If he has not expanded when you poke, you're going to need to just seriously tech up because he's probably going for like Banshees or something. Banshees are definitely a problem with this build. I saw the Fast Reaper, so I'm not really too concerned about him going for Fast Cloak because usually if you're going Fast Cloak, you don't spend the gas for a, a Reaper. But part of the strategy is after you uh, get two bases somewhat well established, you throw down a total of five more Warp Gates seven warp gates and the idea is to just overrun the turn with a uh, gateway units before he has the chance to expand and secure that expansion fully the timing you should hit is around uh, eight and a half nine minutes this poke here we'll just go and see what the turn is up to and he's obviously expanding at this point of course this isn't going to kill anything so we'll just pull back now that we know he's obviously expanding it's most likely he's not going to be do cloak banshees He's going for uh, he is going for banshees, however, but not cloaked. So I will comfortably sit back and throw down my seven warp gates and get ready to push. 
my income at this point is really not bad. I should have more probes, but he did kill a couple and slow me down with me having to run them around. I wasn't mining as much. If the Reaper didn't come, it would have been a lot quicker. I'm still getting used to throwing off, uh, to uh, holding off early Terran pushes with this build. I do think it's possible, though. I've held off Marauder pushes with help my probes as well. But I think it's a viable build at cross positions on bigger maps. This map isn't as big, but it's not too bad. And more warp gates coming still. This push is going to be delayed about 45 seconds to a minute over what it normally would be because of that Reaper. But the Terran army right now is looking pretty pathetic, pretty sad. His economy is finally starting to catch up to mine. If the Terran tries to expand like this, he probably will lose. The I think the only option for a Terran that uh, does some kind of early pressure against this build is to all in. Unless he kills you with an early attack. I mean, if he tries to expand after you and then catch up in a macro game, I don't think he's going to make it. My relatively smallest army here, put in proxy pylons here to reinforce. Off seven warp gates, you can easily reinforce a huge number of units out. Here he comes with this Marine Banshee Raven army to try to stop me. I just have the brute force to power through this, though, so there's no real danger. Of course, the point defense drone is annoying, but I have sentries which aren't affected by it. Focus on the Banshees. I should be focused on the point defense drone, but who kill the Banshees? And it doesn't even matter. I don't even have to micro. I just attack move with my entire army while reinforcing the whole thing. Just power through. And just blow things up. There's not really much you can do to stop me now. My army is huge. His is not. My economy is miles better than his because he's had to pull probes or drones. Whatever the hell Terran things are called. Then, and I'm able to just mow through. I've had some success with this against uh, Terrans on the ladder. Of course, in, if they're close positions or if they Marine SCV all in, it's very difficult to hold. If they go Marine SCV all in, usually I have to sacrifice my expansion, hopefully hold them at my natural ramp. I've been able to do it sometimes. I haven't been able to do it sometimes. It's still a work in progress. I'm not entirely sure this is viable all the time, but it does seem to work sometimes. It's a risky build, guaranteed, but it seems to work about half the time. This is just an example of when it did work. This again is against a master level Terran player. He knew what he was doing. He wasn't some kind of noob I just found in a random game. So, this is uh, the end right here. Boom. I'm going to keep experimenting with this build and hopefully I'll have a verdict on whether I think it's viable eventually. But for now, I'll file it under experimental and use it every once in a while. Thanks for watching, guys.